Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtor here, welcoming you to the Pokemon Platinum Souls Lock. Now, we have a lot to explain and not a whole lot of time to explain it, so let's jump right in and let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Garrett, but on the internet here, I tend to go by Ragtor. I do that because when I was 14, I came up with a very clever username that scrambled up my real name. Now, on my channel, I play a lot of Pokemon. I play it with my friends, I play with the cards, I play with the competitive nature. I also do Let's Plays. I have a lot to offer here, so if you're just getting in, make yourself comfortable. We've got a long road ahead of us. Now, I do believe we have an introduction to make. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, hey there, Professor Rowan. My name is Rowan. Oh, I wasn't supposed to know that. I'm sorry. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Do they affectionately call you the Pokemon Professor, though? Because people will affectionately call Professor Oak the Pokemon Professor. Are you an imposter, sir? Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? No, it's not. If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. While I appreciate that, I do not need any info. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. I do please, thank you very much. <gasps> a Lopunny! I mean a Buneary! <laughs> we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? What do you do, Professor Rowan? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. What happened to the Baneri? Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, like I was saying, well first of all, I'm a boy. And my name is Ragtor. And it's spelled just like Garrett, but all messed up. Because again, I am clever. Now you might be wondering, why do you name your character Ragtor if your name is Garrett? And it's like, because uh, I like to pretend Ragtor's going on the adventure, right? You know? Just something I like. Your name is Ragtor? Besides, these guys gotta know that we mean business around here. <laughs> okay, so you're Ragtor. A fine name, that is. Well, uh, thank you. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Hey, look at him. What might his name be? Well, this is a Souls Lock, and it's based off of Dark Souls. So my friend has to be named Solaire. And if you're not familiar with Dark Souls, he's the Praise the Sun guy. You've seen that meme, I guarantee you've seen that meme. This is that guy. He's super cool, and he helps you. And he's gonna help us. Hopefully. Maybe he'll get in the way. I'm not really sure. Solaire, is it? That your friend's name? Yes, indeed. All right, Ragtor, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm choking on my own cheese. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. All right, I'm going. I'm going, Professor. See, I miss this part. The part where you shrink down to your little avatar. You don't get that with the 3D ones anymore because, well, it's 3D. Pokemon are by your side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of these words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. I hope he brought me a present. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Oh, I would hope they wouldn't change channels. Golly, that'd be awkward. Let's get out of here. It's Solaire. There you are. Hey, Ragtor, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Sound logic, just ask and ye shall receive. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. 
Oh, Ragter, if you're late, I'm funning you 10 million Poké Dollars. <laughs> this crazy lunatic thinks he can find me anything. Right, first of all, we must change the options. Too fast. And we're actually going to change the battle style to set, as that's part of the difficulty. Oh, and I want a nice blue frame. There we go. So, battle style set, first of all. That's the big change you're going to notice. I know the eggs, but no, it's the menu. Just the first of many rules we'll be introducing in this episode. Hi, Mom. Ragter. So, Lair already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Yeah, he's, a. Uh, he seems a bit stressed out. Maybe, like, he could use a break or something. Oh, yes, Ragter. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. Be like, well, it would be okay if you had a Pokemon, but you don't. Bye! It's like, golly. What even? Let's go to Solaire's house. Maybe he's got some... Oh, thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Ragter, you bumped into me. Hey, I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan. You should, you should come too, and quickly. Uh, uh. Oh, jeez, forgot something. This guy leaves me speechless. I don't know. <laughs> like, can't he just calm down and breathe for two minutes? Like, golly, man. I'd better take my bag and journal too. You were about to leave without your bag, you crazy psychopath. Oh, hey, Ragter, I'll be waiting on the road. It'll be a $10 million fine if you're late. This guy just wants my family fortune. He's hoping to get into my will. Because <laughs> he knows I'm going to die on this adventure. He's hoping to get into my will so that he can take all my money. Because clearly, if he thinks he can find me $10 million, then my family must be loaded. All right. What's your crazy idea, buddy? Too slow. All right. Let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Uh, what? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Yes, it does. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. What's your brilliant idea, buddy? Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into grass? Yeah. So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Down without running into wild Pokemon. See, I try this all the time. We don't have repels. We're gonna get attacked. Okay, stick with me. Here goes. On your marks. Hold it! We're busted. He's gonna get us. He's gonna kill us. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? This is awkward. This is like from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hey, Ragter, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to just put them on that path? Yes, it is. Please give me one. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes, I always have. Me too. I love Pokemon too. All right, second helpings. Calm your butt. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We will both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Wow, they're really drilling it in, huh? Right, Ragnar? Uh-huh. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh, well, then forget about me. We give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Oh, Solaire! You're, you're a real pal. I take it back. How big of you. Very well, then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. What about when I gotta go fight the bad guys? Can I recklessly endanger myself then? Now then, hmm? Nowhere. You looking for somebody, pal? Here she is! Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Oh, oh, is something wrong here. Ah, there it is, Dawn. Nice work. 
what I was... What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokémon. Uh, pardon? These Pokémon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. <laughs> we exist side by side with Pokémon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokémon. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Ooh, this man. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokémon. Really? Professor Rowan! I can't believe it! I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face! Hey, Ragter, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Well, we would choose from the briefcase, except I have a different idea. Surprised? I would sure hope so. We have jump cut away, and in doing so we have missed some story opportunities, but don't worry. None of that's important anyway. We don't need that tutorial island nonsense. What we do need, however, is your input. That's right, you're going to be choosing my starter, but not from one of the three Pokémon in the briefcase. No, 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 no. In Dark Souls, you get to pick from one of ten starting classes. So I have gone ahead and created ten Pokémon. You'll be choosing from one of these. Each of these Pokémon corresponds to one of the classes in Dark Souls that you can choose at the start. Not only will you be choosing one of these Pokémon, and I will show you their attacks and their natures in just a moment, but you will also be picking a Magikarp. These are all representative of the starting gift, and each one holds an item. I won't be keeping the Magikarp, just the item. So, you can pick from a Full Restore, an Ultra Ball, an Expert Belt, an Old Gateau, some Leftovers, a rare candy, Moo Moo Milk, and a Lucky Egg. I will not be keeping any of the other ones besides the most voted item. All of the other ones are going to be gone. Similarly, we will only be picking one of these starter Pokémon. Now, shall we get into what they are and what makes them each special? I think we shall. Now here we have Machop, or Machop, who is adamant, corresponding to the warrior. He has no guard, with low kick, leer, and bullet punch. Some of them have egg moves, not all of them though. Then we have Tangela. Tangela, the knight, is bold, with chlorophyll and ingrain, constrict, and mega drain. Meowth, the thief, is jolly, with technician, and has scratch and growl. Scyther, the wanderer, comes also with a jolly nature and technician and carries Vacuum Wave, Quick Attack, and Leer. Sneasel, the Bandit. Naive, with Inner Focus, and Scratch, Leer, and Taunt. Horsey, the Hunter, carrying a Mild Nature and Sniper, with Bubble and Aurora Beam. Then we have Vulpix, the Pyromancer. A Mild Nature, with Flash Fire, and Ember, and Extra Sensory. Then we have Ala Abra, the Sorcerer, with a Timid Nature, and Synchronize, and Teleport, and Hidden Power. Then we have Clefairy, the Cleric, with a Docile Nature, Magic Guard, and Pound, Growl, and Magical Leaf. Now this next Pokémon has a mistake on it, but this is Feebas, the Deprived, because the Deprived starts with basically nothing, who is also Docile with Swift Swim, and has Splash, Dragon Breath, and accidentally, Magical Leaf. Don't let that influence your final decision, I am going to delete Magical Leaf as soon as I can. But, this is what we have to work with. Remember, you will choose one starter, and then one starting gift. The item you want, and the Pokémon you want. Leave them down below in the comments. I'm very excited to see what you guys have to pick, and that's basically going to be it. Oh. Wait, before we finish off, allow me to explain the additional rules that I've put in. So first of all, this Souls Lock is randomized. All the wild Pokémon and the trainer's Pokémon have been completely changed. So we don't know what we're going to be battling, or what we'll be finding. Next, if a Pokémon dies, it's considered dead and will go into a dead box. I use the dead box just in case we happen to need an HM slave, in order to progress in the game so we don't get completely stuck. Also, and here is the rule that I'm putting into the Nuzlocke formula, you can only carry 
10 potion variants, and that includes full restore, at any given time. And you can't use them in battle at all. This is meant to simulate how difficult Dark Souls can be. I won't be able to heal in battle at all unless one of my Pokemon learns Recover. Or Wish or Moonlight or what have you. No healing items. So if a Pokemon gets hurt in battle, it's staying hurt until we get out of that battle. Here's hoping that this doesn't cause us to lose within the first three episodes, but I think it should make for an interesting challenge. So, please help me out. Pick your starter. Pick your class item and leave a like. Tell your friends to come in and vote on their starter and item choice as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode when we return and we have chosen our new Pokemon. Until then, be sure to take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye!